Okay, final video. Um, you see why I hate that policy section. It's just like, it's, I'm talking about all of the potential problems which haven't even occurred this semester. Um, I'm actually really excited about this course. I like having conversations about this material. I like this material. I like working with students. I like you guys, right? So, um, uh, we can put a check mark next to policies there, since we're done that, and move on to um, your favorite topic, how do you get a four point in this course? Well, um, this, and uh, back on the first page of the syllabus, I've laid it out here, right? Um, section tests, one, two, three. Um, I'll say a few words about that. Moodle quizzes, six in total, one for each theorist, right? These are quick, simple, not supposed to hurt anyone. If you've done the reading, if you've screened the videos, you should be able to figure out how to answer these multiple choice. It's just a, like five multiple choice questions or four or something. It might even be three, God. I don't remember, I laid these out a while ago. Little quizzes, quizzes are short five uh, multiple choice question, true or false. Um, this is a timed assignment, but they should be so straightforward um, that you shouldn't have a problem. If you're having problems with, the, with them, like everything else, let me know, and uh, maybe we can address, like if my questions are unclear or something along those lines, maybe I can do something about that. Um, so we'll work together right, if you're having trouble. So, um, and then finally, discussion forum participation. Right? Um, so, how are these going to go? Section tests. New this semester, I'm having you write one page sort of expository essays. Right? So, we finish Socrates, Aristotle. You write me a one page paper on a question that I designed that hits specific required content. It's page to page and a half paper on Socrates. Right? And then you do the same thing for Aristotle. So, it might be two to three pages writing for each one of these tests. It's not. It's not the earth, the sun, and the moon kind of thing. I'll give you specific guidelines, and like I say, I'm an academic writing advisor. I can help you lay out a blueprint for your essays. I'll have lots of content for you. Right? Um, so th that's the writing portion. Right? That's, a, that's important because at some point in your career after you're done university, you're going to have to express your ideas well. Right? Whether that's um, in writing or uh, in memo or in an email or something along those lines, it's an important skill to be able to clearly communicate about ideas to other people. Right? So that's, that's one of the things, one of the big skills that this course is focused on developing further with you. All right. So uh, those are the section tests. Um, you'll get a grade out of 10 for each of the short essays you write, so that's why they each total the 20 right, percent or points of um, your final. You'll notice uh, my percentage points and my points line up. So um, if you get something that's out of 10, it'll be 10% of your final grade. All right. Secondly, Moodle quizzes, um, these are 5% each for a total of 30. There are five questions, they're worth one point each. All right? um, like I say, true or false questions, or multiple choice questions about a key idea, and this is to make sure that you're one, doing the reading, and two, actually viewing the video content that I've required you to view. Now, um, both the forms and the quizzes new this semester I have required you to have at least clicked the link on the videos before engaging with the assignment. In the past, I've seen too many form responses where it's clear that the student hadn't read the material, hadn't viewed the video content, but was trying to get that portion of that 10% of their grade. Right? It's important you actually are on the same page with the rest of the class. Right? So, um, how these will time out, and you can see this from the, uh, the schedule, right? Uh, the discussion forums, after you view the, the, the video content for the course, will be available to you 
on the first day of each section. So that's up to you how quickly you move through each section of the course. You've got two weeks to engage with this stuff. Um, each of the theorists um, that we discuss will come with a specific directed sort of topic for the forum. I consider this the beginning of the conversation and not the end of the conversation. I'm not, not saying talk about this. What I'm saying is here's something to talk about to get the ball rolling. Right? Um, I'll ask you a question and then each of them will be accompanied with a video, a short one that I've recorded sort of long, a long time ago about why I think the question's an interesting question. All right? And you can have a conversation about this. But, for example, if you're reading a passage from Nietzsche and um, you just hit Look at this book, it's coming apart on me here, right? Um, you, you hit this section on the free spirit, right? There's a section on logicians in there and you just don't understand what the heck. The forum is a great place to put that question. Hey, I just read this passage on page whatever, BGE, right? It reads this, I'm interpreting it this way, but I don't know if I'm right. Any, any, anybody else have any thoughts? That is a great way to use this resource. The forums are your rough work section. You don't have to have like the right answer on the forums to get work. I just need to see you working on trying to figure out this material. That's all I need. Um, I track both your original posts and your replies to others. Both get you points towards this. Now, what I'm looking for is substantial posts, right? Uh, it, it not like the word cool exclamation mark won't get you points for this, right? I really thought that was an interesting interpretation because in some sort of discussion, right? Or I really think that you, you might be misinterpreting this in, incorrectly. I'm trying to figure this out myself, but this is how I read this, right? That's another great way to use the forum. Hey, does anybody understand um, duty and as it applies to Kant's second formulation of the categorical imperative. I'm really having trouble with this. Right? Can you help me out? Because it seems to go this way, but I'm not sure. That's awesome. This is awesome use. Um, it, I've seen a lot of people in the past write like little mini essays for these forums as well. I don't know. Both asking a good question and offering a good interpretation gets you full points for this. Right? Just as long as you're topical, you're classy, um, it, it, keeping these po posts timely um, is important as well. Um, yeah, so it's, I, I, I even give you some uh, guidelines uh, with regard to um, how I assess this, and it's right up, um, you'll see. I ask myself basically three questions um, when I'm grading these things. Have you posted at least once for each topic? Um, and as I say in the syllabus and on the topic, more is better. The idea here is to foster an ongoing conversation about the issues raised with, by the material at hand. Second, are the um, posts substantial? That is, do the posts offered show engagement with the material? And finally, are the posts timely? Or did the student wait until the last minute to do all of them? All right, I noticed that. Now, um, that last note about the, the forum posts, I leave these open all semester. So in December, you could conceivably be contributing to the first forum discussion, right? So um, one that's to give you control over that portion of your grade. So if you're in trouble in the course, you might beef up your forum posts, right? Uh, but secondly, um, Nietzsche offers a sustained critique of Socrates as part of what he does in Beyond Good and Evil. Kant is critiquing Mill, but Kant is also possibly a response to Aristotle, right? Um, Jean-Paul Sartre, um, in fact, engages thematically and sort of similarly with some things from Aristotle and from Kant, and again from Socrates. So the history of Western philosophy is one long conversation between these theorists through history, right? That's what it is. I'm asking you to jump into this conversation, right? So there are pedagogical reasons and sort of practical reasons for keeping these forums open the entire semester. All I'm saying 
um, in my assessment criteria is that don't wait, don't wait to do the, well the material is fresh in your mind, you're better to engage with it, right? Plus December's busy and you won't have time, right? So um, that's the discussion forums. Um, right at the end of the semester, um, I offer a grade. Um, it'll be calculated into your final grade. I've got a little section in Moodle where I actually work so you can see it in gradebook. Right? You don't have to ask me those questions. But um, if you're worried about your form grades throughout the, 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 the semester, right? Uh, please contact me and I can take a look at your form grades and you, you give you some sort of an indication about whether you need improvement or whether you're doing awesome. Right? That's 10% of your final grade. Uh, the Moodle quizzes, like I say, they should be straightforward. They should be straightforward. Um, uh, they are designed to just make sure you are paying some sort of um, attention. Right? They pop up as soon as the new topic pops up and they close um, and I've got the due dates for them um, posted there but like really it takes you 15 minutes by the time you've done the other work right um, yeah and then finally the uh, the section quizzes and I mean it here here it is the the essay questions are designed to encourage a concise discussion of the theory and accordingly the length of the essays is limited to 250 to 350 words it's pretty, it, like, one of these tests maxes out at 700 words, right? Um, not that I want to be counting words or anything along those lines. It's just the exercises to get you being concise. If you know what you're talking about, you should be able to say it well quickly, right? So um, th that's what we're talking about for each of uh, these tests. Now, in terms of grading, um, I take a lot of time and I try to offer you substantial commentary with regard to your writing assignments. So uh, those do take a lot of time to grade. Um, I've looked into various different ways to uh, speed this up and I found that it diminishes the quality um, of the, 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 the commentary and I don't want to do that. You, you're in university not because you want me to pronounce a grade from on high, but because you want commentary and because you want to improve, one would think, right? Um, you've chosen the wrong place, if not. Um, so uh, I try to keep myself to two weeks uh, with these assignments. Um, I try to get you commentary on your previous assignment before your next assignment is due, right? Minimally, right? So uh, that's what I'm aiming at doing. Um, Moodle quizzes, you get your grade immediately. Right, so that's a portion of your grade that you've got like a split, right? Um, and the discussion forums, like I say, end of the semester. Um, but if you have questions about how I'm going to assess you or whether you're on the right track with these discussion forums, um, yeah, it's, I can have that conversation with you throughout the semester. So um, that's assessment. Um, Hopefully it should be straightforward. I'm going to give you detailed ex ed ed instructions for these essays and the various things that you should be talking about in um, your, your page to page and a half um, expository essay. Uh, it, and um, I reserve the right also for um, the final exam, uh, the final essay to switch it up a little bit. Uh, where, you know, either defend the theorist against a critique or offer a critique of the theorist, because by the end of the course we should be there. You should know this material and how it operates well enough to actually engage in some critical exercise yourself. Of course, I welcome critique, right? I welcome defense against a critique throughout the semester, um, but when it comes to the end of the semester, I may actually require it, right? So, um, yeah, so that's the course, in fact. Um, the last page, uh, you will find what you will think is a pleasant surprise. This is my grade scheme, um, which, for example, the age A range goes from 80% to 100%. You're about to go, yay, and that sort of thing. Um, this is straight from every Canadian institution um, that I've ever 
engaged professionally with. Um, so this is just what I think when I think A, this is a B, this is a C, this is a D. Um, your GPA, the letter grade, um, is what translates to your GPA. And in fact, this GPA thing, it's neither here nor there anymore. I just submit a letter grade. So if you got an A, you got an A. If you got a B, you got a B, that sort of thing. So really, I should delete this last letter grade to a grade point conversion, right? That OU's Office of the Registrar used to give me because I just submit letter grades to them now. So, um, yeah, so that's what you've got to aim for. Um, and A is still hard to get. Understand that, right? Uh, you know, it, so that's what we are talking about with regard to this course. So, um, in final words and parting words at this point, um, what I'm doing is I'm posting some uh, what's philosophy for kind of uh, material. Uh, and a video that is background for the first section um, on a, sort of a general introduction to philosophy and the pre-Socratics that I recorded a long, long time ago. Um, I like the way I've put it though, so uh, hopefully that's useful. That will just start the conversation a little bit and prepare you to engage with um, Socrates. I've set the um, first section uh, of the course to appear to you on September 9th. Shortly after that, it's indicated, like I say, on that um, page four of your syllabus, on um, where is it, September 23rd, the Aristotle material will um, appear to you. So, uh, like I say, print this, keep up with the schedule, you'll know what's going on when, and if something doesn't appear when it's supposed to appear, please do let me know, uh, and I will address that. Um, if you have any questions about what we've done so far, what are you supposed to do? Contact me, right? So um, I'm here to help, right? I, I try to be as welcoming and as genuine with students as possible. So um, please, right? Talk to me about these ideas. That's what I'm craving. And I don't get nearly enough of it, believe me, right? That's a strange thing for a philosophy professor to say. But nonetheless, um, yeah. So have good days, one for each of you, and I uh, hope to hear from you and have a nice semester with you. Cheers.